Hi guys! Welcome to Quick Sort Video Tutorial. And this will be the last sorting algorithm that I will be teaching. Quick Sort is the fastest or more faster in time complexity than other sorting algorithm. But then, so Quick Sort is a complicated sorting algorithm than the previous algorithms. So, how does quick sort works? So here we have an example array, set of numbers that will represent as our array. In quick sort, we use a pivot, wherein this pivot, the value of the five pivot, will be the first element that will be sorted, or will be placed to its original position, to its right position. And then left and right variables here will be the index that will be compared. So let's see. Pivot is originally placed or originally um, originally indicated to the first element of the array. So here pivot is 7 and then left here is equals to 0 where in left the value of left increments until until in an element a greater than an element greater than to the pivot is met while in right variable right is set at the last element or at the indexed for and this right decrements until smallest the smaller element to the pivot is met. So let's try. Uh, so left will move to one and compared if 1 is greater than 7 so 1 is greater than 7 no then left will still increment and 3 will be compared to 7 is 3 greater than 7 no then left will still increment and 0 will be compared with 7 is 0 greater than 7 no so left will still increment and 2 is greater than 7 no because it is the last element then the left will stop and then the right will work so right here will be is 2 and 2 should be and 2 will be compared to pivot if 2 is less than 7 then right will stop so is 2 less than 7 true so let right here stop when left and right meet, then right, the value of right, will be swapped with the value of the 5. So, in here, 2 will be swapped to the value of the 5, which is 7. So, as you can see, the 5, or 7, is now placed at its right position. Then, we now know that 7 is sorted and we will do the remaining numbers to the left. So, left again will be back to 0. And then, right here will now be equal to 0. So, this process, as you can see, it's just like a recursion. We do the same process until a condition is met. So now, pivot here is 2. Left will be 1. So is 1 less than... Is 1 greater than 2? False. So left will still increment. Is 3 greater than 2? True. So left will stop and right will work. So is 0 
less than 2, correct? So, because left and right doesn't met, then we first have to swap the, their values. And then, right will work. So, is 0 less than 2 true? And now, left and right met. So, now, 2 pivot will be swapped with the right value, which is 0. And now, as you can see, 2 is placed at its original, at its, at its right position. And now, left will be equal to here. Then now, we know that 2 and 7 is sorted. We will first um, do with the left side of 2. So, left here is 0 and we'll increment it to 1. Is 1 greater than 0 true? And right and left met. And because 1, which is right, is greater than 0, then they will not swap. Instead, we will know that 0 is in its right position. And now, we have 0, 2, and 7 assorted elements. And we still have 1 and 3 to be sorted. Then we go on with 1. And then left and right. And then pivot. When pivot, left, and right all met, then it will mean that this element is already sorted. And we will re be returned to the last unsorted element, which is 3. And again, pivot, left, and right are all at the same element. Then it means that 3 is already in its right position. So, to show you how that works, let's code it by making a new Java class. And in this case, I'll name it as Quick. Here, I already have a array class, wherein I have already declared an array set the size into size which is 5 and then a for loop for getting the values to our array and another for loop for printing the values of our original array and then quick sort we will make another method Excuse me. So here I created a void method and I'm getting the value of the array at array class. And we still have to get the left and the right. Now we can declare our pivot as a temp and another temp for temporary variables. Temp to I mean. So now we will initialize our pivot as equals to left and then temp will be equal to left and then temp2 will be equal to right I'm sorry this will be array of left or the value of the array at the beginning and now We'll have a while loop wherein 
while left is less than right while left is less than right he'll have an inner while loop we're in while array left is I mean array right is greater than or equal to the pivot and well left is less than right then right will be decrement decrement If after that we will have an if statement if left if if left is not equal to right. Then another while loop. We're in array left. This is less than or equal to pivot. If statement if left is not equal to right, After all the whiles, we will declare our repeat method. Have to print the iteration so that we can see if we're doing right. Printing the values of our sorted array or to be sorted array. Now, 
for recursion, we will have a to if statement. So this part is our recursion wherein we call the same method or its own method until a condition is met. And then we have to yes. under. And now to work this we have to make a object for our quick class. In this case, I will use object one as my variable for quick class. So that whenever we access the methods inside quick class, we use object one. So here we call object and forgot we have to declare in left equals to zero and right as equals to array dot n minus one and then we change this to left and then we change this to right so if we run this We, for example, um, six. Here we have 6, 2, 3, 0, and 4. As we see, 6 as our pivot is placed here. And then next is 2. 2 as our pivot is in original. And then So now that's quick sort. Thank you for watching. And maybe in my next tutorial I will teach you a brief of the stocks and queues or the linked list. Thank you guys.